welcome back to the channel. My name is Zach and here we talk about overlanding and tech. I'm out here in Colorado on a trip and the Forerunner is pretty well set up for what I use when I go camping. And so I just wanted to do a little bit of an explanation as to how I use my platform and with my new rooftop tent, how I can set everything up for doing trails, but then also really functional when I'm camping. So let's kind of walk around back and I'll show you what my setup is in the back. Hey everybody, Future Zach here. I just want to quick interrupt the video because I've got a couple of important announcements to make. One, the giveaway is still live and it's super exciting. We just crossed over 4,000 subscribers, I believe. So it's awesome. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Please like this video to help continue this growth and to end the giveaway so all of you who have decided to join might win something. Um, so I'll just pop that up on the screen here. You can win a pair of traction boards or this awesome air compressor, which a lot of people can kind of modify to use as an onboard air compressor. So super awesome, a really capable piece of equipment. So enter to win that. The other thing is, is today the sponsor is my medic. And if you know anything about kind of preparedness, you've probably heard of the brand my medic, but I'm really happy that they were willing to sponsor today's video. And I just kind of want to break this open and explain some of the bigger components that are in it. We're not going to go through everything because it's not really necessary, but it's really important that when you're out and away from emergency services that you are prepared in case something bad were to happen. And I think a lot of people look and just kind of pass over this part of their gear. So I really encourage you to have some sort of medical kit or something of that sort with you at all times. So I chose my medic and I thought that their products looked really high quality. So I reached out to them to see if they'd be willing to sponsor this video. So, and let's jump up on the top down camera so that we can see what's actually in this kit. Okay, so let's just jump right in. So this is actually a like Velcro patch. So I thought that was kind of cool. Like you wouldn't necessarily need to keep it here. If you wanted, you could move it around. Or if you don't like labels on things, you could remove that. But it's a pretty compact little setup. Um, this is all Velcro on the back too. So if you wanna, you know, hook this on to some other like Velcro, Molly, Mole, however you wanna say it. Um, these are also, these unsnap if you wanna hook this on to some sort of, you know, I don't know, any panel basically, this is compatible. So it's really awesome for storing. And I really like that like feature about it. Just everywhere has Velcro. But um, first off, we've got this big zipper pouch that un like opens it up. And these are super high quality zippers. Um, the thing I really like about this is it's just a really high quality product. So inside we've got a variety of things. Um, We've got this rapid tourniquet here, got some paracord, a space blanket, just like an ace wrap, um, athletic tape, a broken bone splint, there you go. I don't wanna take apart this whole entire kit just to show off every single thing because on their website they have a breakdown and a picture of all the different components that come in it. But I just wanted to show off that this is kind of their recommended like entry level personal kit so if you're looking for something that's like a good starter kit, but you're definitely gonna be prepared, I think this is a really great option. With uh, my coupon code listed down below, that'll help get a discount off your product. And I'll link this as well as another kit they have called a car kit, which basically just has a bunch of like different first aid kit materials inside of a waterproof compartment. So choose which one you would like, or maybe neither you want because you already have a kit, but Definitely don't pass on this because it's really important that you're prepared in this way. It doesn't really matter if you're having fun off-road, if you don't have something like this along in case something bad were to happen. Injuries always ruin fun very quickly, so. So I haven't bought like a big camp stove yet that runs on kerosene or LP or something like that. So right now I just have these, I have a, a Jetboil Flash which has this like temperature marker on the side. And this is what I use to boil water as well as just make coffee or other things that are just water dependent. I know you can make those like quick meals where you mix water with like a dried powder and it makes a meal. Um, so that's what I use this for. And then if I'm making a bigger meal, I have one of these pans and it's just a basic GSI outdoors pan from REI. You can pick these up basically anywhere. And I have an MSI or I have a MSI. I have this MSR 
um, camping stove that I think is really more for backpacking, but I bought it just because I found a good deal on it from someone used. And so I've been using that for this pan. And then I also have like a small backpacking pot that I'll make a, a small meal in. I think you could make like one box of mac and cheese in it or something. So it's not super large, but it works fine on, on this stove. And this metal tin is just to put around the stove so that you can keep the wind out. Helps so that your flame doesn't get blown out when you're cooking. So um, you've seen my platform before, but basically my platform has this insert on the top that I've put a coating on just, just to make it a little more waterproof. And so this has turned out to be way more helpful and I've used this way more than I thought I would, uh, but it's a really nice working surface, sort of like a countertop in a kitchen, so to speak. So I'd really recommend if you're going to put in some sort of platform or drawer to have one of these wood inserts on the top because it's just an amazing working surface. So, and these drawer slides also are really nice for hanging a trash bag from, but I'll show what I have inside the drawer in a little bit. I just want to mention that since I don't have like an electric fridge and you definitely don't need one, it's pretty easy to just keep your, like your cooler right on top of the drawer system. So I think this is a 26 quart cooler, but it works really well for short trips and I've got some various food items and drinks and stuff that I keep in there. Um, over here on the side, I can just, I have a little med kit that I stuff in this corner and then I've got a uh, air compressor right here that I'll use to air up and air down. And then, um, like I was mentioning, I've got this battery, which is a called the PPG 1000. It's a 1000 watt hour battery. It works really well for just charging various devices and I can run an electric blanket off it if I need to at night when it gets cold. So that's basically the bulk of this back area. Um, I don't really want to overdo explaining it because most of it's fairly self-explanatory, but I just wanted to show what my setup was. I've got like this roll bag here or this roll top bag for my dog food and a water container for just drinking water. So um, that's basically what I've got going on. The middle section where the seats are, I keep that pretty cleared out so that Otis has a place to hang out when we're on the trail. And then in the front seat, I keep my uh, batteries and camera gear and my backpack and everything just kind of chilling there and ready to go. So that's the bulk of my setup. Um, and then obviously up top, I just keep all of my blankets and stuff within my rooftop tent because it's a thick plastic shell one, so there's plenty of space inside of there to store all of my bedding. All right, so I'm just gonna show you what's inside my drawer because when I first showed my platform, it wasn't packed, but now it is. So this just pops right up, slides out. So it's by no means super organized, but I tried to put more recovery stuff on the left and more like tools and equipment on the right. So in the back here, I've got um, like a netting that's part of my rooftop tent and this blanket. I've got some old gloves, I've got a hammer here, my new bump stops I still need to put on, duct tape, plastic bags, a hot glue gun. I've got some magnets in here, work gloves, the wiring remote line so that I can hook up to my winch without a wireless connection. This is my winch strap, a socket set. Then we've got some bear spray over here, my hammock, some straps for various cords. I really need to put this on my extension cord that I brought along. Some more work gloves. I've got a big toe strap right here in a bag. I've got jumper cables under there. We've got a two inch hitch back here, some ratchet straps, a tree strap. And I think probably the only thing that's really missing is, is I don't have a snatch block, but that's gonna be added to this kit very soon. So I tried to organize it some, but it's really nice to be able to just shove this all in here because I don't always really need to use it, but having it along really creates a lot of peace of mind and sometimes you really do need all of those tools for something. So that's what I keep inside the drawer. And then if you were watching and you kind of saw something that you didn't fully understand the details about or you wanna know more about that product, just comment down below and I'm happy to explain, you know, say what compressor I have or what cooler I have or, you know, why I chose something. I'm happy to, you know, talk through that in the comments. So, and if you notice this, I did a recent video on my radio but this is a GMRS antenna on the Rago Fabrication antenna mount. 
and this is super slick. You can pick either the driver's side or the passenger side. I chose the driver's side just for cable routing reasons, but honestly, it probably would work fine on either side. So that's what I've got going on there. And then it routes up to the front where I have a GMRS radio setup. And if you wanna know more of the details, feel free to go check that video out on my channel. But basically, I just have this little mount that's a two-sided tape stuck to this Rago fabrication arm on the dash mount for Forerunners. And then my radio just sticks right in there. And it routes to a console that I keep, or it routes to a like computer unit that's inside my armrest console there. So it's pretty simple, but if you wanna know more details about that, I've got a designated video for it. So feel free to go check that out. All right, so if you're looking at my truck, you might notice that it's quite a bit different than my previous rig walk around. And that's because there's been a lot of changes to the build in the last month, month and a half. But basically what I'm now running is BF Goodrich 285 70 R17s on the TRD Pro rims. And some people say that you can't actually do that, but I think it's just fine. And I love these over my Wrangler Duratrax. I'm gonna do a full video on my suspension, but I'm running the three inch Old Man Emu all around with heavier duty springs. Again, I'll talk more about those details in a different video, but if you're looking at the truck and you're wondering why it's sitting on random things, we're on uneven ground. So typically a lot of people will use larger rocks or just traction boards to set that up to level it out if you're gonna sleep in your truck or on your rooftop tent. So, and if you're noticing, I have a rooftop tent, it's made by Roof Nest and I was able to pick it up used. I'm gonna do a designated video on it to just do kind of a walk around of what the inside looks like, why I picked this model, etc. cetera. Um, I'm running RSG rock sliders. They're made in Colorado and I have nothing bad to say about them. It's really nice to have them as protection, but also just a step, especially if you're trying to reach up into the rooftop tent. So I've loved having those. Those are like one of the first modifications I would do if you're looking at a stock Forerunner and what you should do first. Um, additionally, in the front, I now have this C4 fabrication low pro bumper with a 12,000 pound Badlands Apex winch in it from Harbor Freight. And again, nothing bad to say about them so far, but I haven't had to winch myself out yet, knock on wood. So hopefully, That'll be all awesome as I uh, do more trails in the future. Um, a video is also coming on that. I have a lot of videos I still need to put out on some of the big changes that have happened to the truck. So that basically is the bulk of it, I think. If you made it this far through the video, I, I really appreciate all of you that watch my videos from start to finish. I mean, it's just awesome that there's people that are willing to listen to me that long and I really appreciate your support. So. If you are one of those people, comment down below true fan and message me on Instagram. And if you do that within like the first two weeks of me posting this video and you send me your address, I'll send you a free sticker because I just appreciate you showing up and watching my videos. So if you don't remember, make sure you go grab yourself a med kit. Again, discount down below. It's just gonna be better for you and you're gonna have more peace of mind and you'll be safer out there on the trail. So um, thanks so much for watching. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe because it helps my channel grow. Like this video if you found any value in it and turn on that notification bell so that you actually get a little like reminder when I post videos because sometimes if you subscribe to a lot of channels, mine might get buried because I'm a smaller channel. So thanks again so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful and I'll catch you guys in the next one.